are what else what else is going on right if we're not being part of the action if we're not taking some of that responsibility ryan and then chantal and amy um, i mean part of it is that we distance ourselves from our legislation we elect officials and assume that they will reflect the beliefs that we elected them on or like the base upon, but often what happens is legislators are much more concerned about uh, the image that they present to their peers, the people that they're working with uh, as the you know the political heads of the state or federal level, and not as concerned about reflecting a certain political stance or an openness with, with the citizenry. And so, I mean, part of that disconnect is that we as a citizen are not as concerned about accountability when it comes to actual honest dialogue and they have a major stake in maintaining it. I mean, they don't want us to be too concerned about their capitalism. How many of you voted in, how many of you, you know, who are citizens and have the right to vote, how many of you voted in the last presidential election? How many of you voted in your last state election? Do you see that big gap? When's the next election? <laughs> When's the next election? What? You tell me. What's the next election that's on your radar? Huh? Two ten. For what? Anybody else? So we're looking out for two ten. <laughs> So our president, um, Obama, where did he come from before he was president? Chicago, hmm? Illinois. Illinois. What was what elected official? What position? Elected position did he hold previous to his current one? Senator. Senator. State senator. State state senator of Illinois. What did he hold before that? Some representative. Hmm? The next election for a lot of people is this May, or maybe you're thinking about SGA elections going on right now, today and tomorrow, and the next, I think the next day, right? Part of it is, in our society, we really emphasize presidential elections. People, the president doesn't just go from nothing to being the president. If you look at any presidential candidate, they have moved their way through different levels of local government. Usually, before, usually right before they become president um, or run for president, they're usually state senators or they've been vice president. That's a really common uh, place to come from, right? Where were you before that? A lot of people, like Reagan, or governors of states, right? Or um, or George W. Bush, your governor of a state. Or maybe you were part of your state legislation, right? Because every state has its own house of representatives, has its own district representatives, has its own state senators, right? And a lot of people go from city council to maybe Board of Education in a county, to maybe mayor, to maybe representative in the state, to maybe governor or state senator, right? So by the time you're voting for someone for the presidency, you will have had a chance, if they're from your state, to have seen them through their, through their career, right? How many of you know who your city council members are? How many of you know who your state senators are? State, you know, we have two people. I only know one. How, you only know one. How many of you know who Murphy's. your representative in Congress, in U.S. Congress is? Right? Every city county has one. Right? How many of you know who your, wait, did I say governor already? How many of you know who your governor is? Okay, a little bit more. I mean, every time you pass the sign for your state, it says so and so, governor of Maryland, governor of Virginia, and it changes every once in a while, people, right? But that's the thing. 
We're not involved. We're fighting so hard across this world to give democracy to other countries because we think it's great. We think democracy is so great, right? Why is democracy supposedly so good? Because supposedly people get to decide. Supposedly people have a voice. Supposedly people have a vote, right? Does that mean all of us necessarily are involved with every just you know decision? No. This is where your representatives and your council members and your mayor and your governor, that's where they come into play. Because there's this notion that we'll elect them, they will do what's in our best interest. And then as they move up, they will always remember us, right? The people, their constituency, right? What we can see here, most of you don't even know who those elected officials are. Maybe some, maybe a lot of you, even though you voted for the president, didn't even vote in those other, in those other positions, right? Well, what does that do? Like I said, by the time you end up running as a presidential candidate, you've already held office to some degree, 